is our EV6, the day of the trip. Packing our stuff. It's not the largest trunk in the world, but we are fitting a lot of items. There's gonna be four people. I'm gonna sit in the middle so that way I can see stuff, but it's pretty well. We removed all our charging equipment from the under compartment and completely removed the under compartment to fit more items. So everything including the tire repair kit, the inverter, and a 100 foot extension cord is all we all put in our trunk. So let's see. Boom. There is Tesla wall connector, 100 foot cord, adapter, the um, inverter, and tire repair kit. Wow. And I even just sort of washed the car the day before the trip. So definitely a lot of room, and even though the frunk isn't the largest, there's an advantage to having it over a electric vehicle that doesn't. Because if we did need our tire repair kit or to charge the mobile connector, trying to get it out from underneath this stuff would be way, way too hard. So, win for the frunk. Car should have lots of leg room, and because it's an EV and doesn't have a transmission, I'm going to be able to sit in the middle without a stupid transmission blocking my feet. So, just as much room in the middle as the side seats, or more room. Our charge port. <laughs> Probably going to use our DC fast charging. Get all our stuff out. I thought the cooler were her food items. They were not. So now, we have to squish that in here. Let's see how it goes. Oh yeah, and the seats are all the way leaned back for maximum comfort. Uh, there we go. And then right the back up go. Right here. And that should be enough room for my monster right there. Wow. Damn, I'm so good. It's definitely not as much room as a Model Y. Model Y has the bigger frunk. And we're on our trip. We have the uh, adaptive cruise control on. Is the adaptive cruise control able to take this curve? I would hope so, considering it's meant for uh, highway driving. So <laughs> if it doesn't, we have a serious problem that we need to address. Oh, seems this is working. And now to my right, I have my, uh, or I have the 3D printer printing right next to me. Uh, only burnt me once. It didn't burn you. You felt a little warm. Definitely burnt me. <laughs> and it's trying to edit a video, but camera is having sound problems. So, and we are charging, or we are heading to the further charger. It is the slower one, but will be lower down in our battery. So, only about eight minutes slower than if we went to the faster one. But we will have less range anxiety, I guess, if yes. it's closer to our location. And then I have my brother there who's annoying, but That's not very nice. I like him more than the 3D printer, so. Printing McPrint face. away from our charger so we are about halfway done. Our build is about 11% done so it is working very well on the highway. I was pretty surprised. We're charging now at the Ford dealership 174 kilowatts. So we can walk around now. Pretty big stations. 
And my dad really apparently did not like driving around this place because he saw the level two and he's like, we're out of here. I didn't say we were out of here. I just said we may need to be out of here. Yeah. I'll put pretty McPrint face in the back. Yep. Here, only eight minutes and it's added 20 kilowatts of power, which is really fast. So we are have way more than enough we need to get there. So that's cool. But also the interesting thing was we plugged it in and it just started charging. So we'll not charge us money, which is a good thing. So free, yay. Hey everyone, we are technically done charging, but we're just enjoying ourselves by this Ford dealership, drinking some Mountain Dew and Monster. I saw some Mavericks in there. When I walked out of the building, we finished charging basically, but now we're just topping off any extra as we can. It is a Lariat version. So you can tell it's very, very nice looking light bar and grill. It says Lariat. Uh, wheels, I couldn't really tell that's an EV wheel. It yeah. looks like a regular one. So very standard bed size and nice badging right here. So if you want to spot a whitening in the wild, you mostly have to look for the light bar and the fancy lights for the front. Also has a nice American badge. See the very the leather interior. And you can fold that down so you have a complete workspace. I'm not really sure how to do that. And then you fold you can Fold this thing down and you can eat or just get work done. Nice screen like the Mustang Mach E. So, very nice. We just left the Ford dealership at 99% state of charge. We charged that high mostly because we were just having fun looking at the F 150 Lightning and lost track of time. And we knew it was going to annoy Cass, so that's always a bonus. Or what? It was going to annoy Cass. So. Yeah. We have a 313 mile range and 81 miles to go. Let's see how accurate that tripometer or the guesser is. All I know was that just need up. All I know was you just need up. All I know was we just need up. All I know was you just need up. In the next couple of clips, you'll see that we are lower battery percentage than 70, which is what we got to our hotel with. Well, that's just because we've been using our car. And my dad even slept in our car one night, so he was using the AC and power. Him sleeping in the car used about 40 miles of range. We are at this charge point charge station in Traverse City, ready to plug in. I believe the station is 66 kilowatts. Will it charge immediately or make us pay? It's a 62 kilowatt power. Easy. Looks like we might have to pay. We are charging at the charge point station and advertises 62 kilowatts. I looked on the screen but we're only getting 56. I don't think it's due to throttle. It comes with a level two station next to it, which 
you have to pay for. So I'm not sure how I feel about that, but at least Charge Point will stay operable if they are making profit. Because uh, we cannot have free level twos forever. But should upgrade it to 11 kilowatts. It's only 6.4. All right. So much to Blade's chagrin. I think it's a pretty safe place. We are right by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Feel free to reach out for us for sponsorship information. <laughs> no, it's all good. We are we are near Chum's Corners in Traverse City, or just outside of Traverse City, near Interlock in Michigan. Uh, and I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I thought we were going to come up here, and I thought it was going to be really hard to find a place to charge. And while it's not a 150 or a 300 watt or kilowatt hour uh, fast charger, at 60 is, is pretty good for me where I'm looking at. And like Blade said, we have the level two next door. This is good. Key is charging up right away. Nice day out. It's fun. I'm having fun hanging out here with the Kia and hanging out with my kids uh, charging the car. Yep. And the charger gets bonus points if there are circus peanuts inside that store. Yeah, I think we're too late at night for that. I think it's too late. Ah. If we wouldn't have stopped by the cabin, we probably would have been able to do it. But sorry, Blade. We'll have to find circus peanuts at another spot. We arrived in Traverse City with 70% to my surprise because we stopped and charged all the way to 99 percent when we were at the charger we arrived with 53 percent which means in total we used about 80 percent to get from our house to traverse city now that's a lot less than what a better route planner predicted that we could probably get there on one full charge with three percent left which means they had us using 97 percent but it only took us 80 percent to get there from the uh our house to Traverse City. We stopped once at a Ford dealership. We stopped way too long, but we had fun. We got to check out the F-150 Lightning. So um, we do have a level two charger at a hotel couple, uh, or hotel three down or something, but we're not charging there. My dad has honor, so he's not gonna use it because it says it's for guests only. Guess only, Blade. Guess only. Guess only. Yeah. Oh. No, I, I think it all boils down to I drove more efficiently because I am an efficient driver. So, yeah. you know, they, they must expect everybody to be driving their Teslas all the way up um, super fast, gunning it the whole time. And mm -hmm. while I was a conservative driver in our Kia EV6. Blade. <laughs> We're... Blade looking and eyeing the circus peanuts. We suspect they're right on the other side of the closed doors. Yeah. But unfortunately, it is closed. Unfortunately, at closed at 6 p.m. on Sunday. And so. it is 9 p.m. now. So, charger without amenities, especially uh, 60 kilowatt chargers, can be up to an hour. So an hour without anything to do you were at an electrify america station you were confused why there were two ccs connectors on one stall but is it true. is so that way the cord can reach any car or any uh charge port on the car because some cars have charge port on the left and some on the right and it has to be able to reach all the way around and get to it so that's why there are two uh, connectors at each Electrify America station. Now this station has a uh, CHADMO come out, has a CHADMO and a CCS so even though I think that this is sort of ridiculous maybe someone who's new to EVs wouldn't really understand that you can't plug in their vehicle on the same station as a vehicle already charging. Hey I, I have to admit when I first did it when I was an electric noob two weeks ago or two months ago, yeah, um, yeah I, I was very confused by the multiple cords. So even though I really was making fun of this, I think that it's good they have it. Yeah, I think it's very good. And um, something that I'm also sort of wondering is where is the uh, actual charger part of this? If 
there are onboard chargers in back to here. Now that I'm feeling it, I think there is. This looks like one cabinet. I think it could do 60 kilowatts. But from the front, it was hard to tell because I'm used to there being the uh, large fenced off cabinets with the chargers. Yeah. So we true. were wondering if they were run online, but I can feel some of that heat. So basically what they have is a whole bunch of on. So our car has an 11 kilowatt onboard charger. Well, they just have a whole bunch of what you would call an onboard charger just stacked up in a row, converts the AC to DC, and we've got a fast charger. Interesting. So that's super inefficient then, because it's converting the AC to DC after uh, instead of just getting it direct. Huh? It's not like they have a DC power plant here. But you drove by like two solar farms. Yeah, those solar farms should install chargers, but this uh, hardware store doesn't have any solar panels. But uh, Tesla promised to put solar panels on the superchargers, but there's only a couple superchargers with solar panels. Yeah. Overall, I'm happy with the charging situation around here. It's it's better than I anticipated. Yeah, we were just driving through the woods, so I am pretty surprised to see a fast charger at a hardware store. We are charging at the charger, and right now it says we've spent $5 at the charger and added 77 miles of range. So if your car can get 77 miles per gallon, then congratulations, you're at the same price point as our electric vehicle at this particular charger. Although the charger we charged out on the way up was completely free, courtesy of the Ford dealership, I think. So, but it, it's a pretty good deal right now. home but first we are going to stop once at the Meyer Bay Electrify America station. The reason we're stopping at Electrify America instead of the previous charger at the Ford dealership is because it's a lot further it's a lot closer to home so we'll be lower down in our battery pack and Electrify America is a faster it's rated faster so we'll be charging at a faster speed and lower down in our battery pack. In the rain. Now we are trying to get it to work. Processing payment should work. Good deal. Authorize. Initiating charging. You're charging at 190 kilowatts. Now we're going into the sort. But yeah, we returned our cans and we're at 81% when we got back, but now we're at 83. So we made seven bucks from returning our cans while we were inside. Currently it says the cost is at uh, eight or $19. But luckily, Kia pays for a thousand free kilowatt hours at Electrify America. Now we're gonna go walk down to Culver's. Um, but I'll check how much uh, time it says we have remaining to 100%. Go. I found some circus peanuts at Tractor Supply next to the charger. Now my plan is to sell them back to my brother for more money. So you gotta make sure everybody knows what a circus peanut is. These are circus peanuts. Circus peanuts. We are currently at Culver's. 
and this is Rex's ice cream. It, he didn't like the flavor, but it turns out, so I traded him my uh, Culver's coupon for the, his current ice cream. In exchange, he would buy two bags of my circus peanuts for ten dollars. So, two bags. Two bags <laughs> for ten dollars, and I get his ice cream. I don't know. It's confusing. All we know is Cass ends up with no ice cream. <laughs> hey, Cass, do you want to buy any bags of circus peanuts? No. Or an ice cream coupon? Oh, 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 o